What's up, YouTubers? Pokey Jedi Trek here. So, today's cooking video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a thing called microwave mug brownies. And it's not actually my recipe. Um, the the actual author of this recipe goes to some to it to an to an Instagram account called Fit Waffle Kitchen on Instagram, and they're the ones who made the recipe. And I'm going, to be sh I'm going to be adapting their recipe for microwave mug cookies. Um, and so, microwave mug cookies are actually, as judging by their names, are actually pretty nifty items if you ever want, if for those who, who have tape desires for cookies. Let's go over what we need. So to make microwave mug cookies, you're going to need sugar and flour. You also need vanilla extract. You also need egg yolks, or you can use liquid eggs in lieu of egg yolks if you find it too hard to separate yolks from the eggs. You also need butter, chocolate chips, and brown sugar. So let's get started. Alright, so first things first, you're obviously going to need a mug, and then you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna put one tablespoon of butter into, into, a, into a coffee mug or something similar. And what you're going to do is you're going to stick it in the microwave for 20 seconds or until it is fully melted. There you go. So the butter doesn't appear to be fully melted, so you're going to try it. So you're going to do 20 second intervals until the butter is fully melted. It's getting there, so it looks like I'm going to have to stir it up a bit or so. look pretty good by now. Next you're going to add a tablespoon of both sugar, of both sugars each, of both the granulated and the white. I mean granulated and brown. So here's a tablespoon of granulated and you're going to stir until combined. Should look good. And here's a tablespoon of brown sugar. You're going to mix that in and combine it, stir until combined as well. We'll warn you though that, I didn't realize I was getting that off camera, but I will warn you, brown sugar is pretty thick, so please keep in, that in mind that it is pretty thick. Next you'll need an egg yolk. Alternatively, you can use liquid eggs according to your package instructions, because I understand that not everybody knows how to separate eggs from the yolks themselves, but either way, this since this one in particular calls for three liquid eggs, so three tablespoons of liquid egg makes a whole egg. You also need half a teaspoon of vanilla, and you're gonna mix till combined. kind of hard to see because of all the lighting, but this is what you're essentially doing, is you're going to mix this all up. Now you're going to add two heaping tablespoons of flour to the mix. And you're going to stir it until it is thoroughly combined. Yeah, like I said, it's hard to see because, because the sun's gone down. I'm trying to make most of the lighting of what I can do with the lighting in here. So next you're going to add one tablespoon of chocolate chips to the mug. And you're going to mix those around. And you're going to add as many more as you feel like, if if necessary, you know. And if necessary, feel free to add more for topping. 
mix them around like so. About one or two tablespoons of chocolate chips will do. Now you're going to stick this in the microwave for about 50 seconds. All right, 50 seconds have passed. We're going to pull this out of the microwave. And it doesn't appear to be done yet unless I did something wrong. Well, I just mixed it up and it's turned to chocolate. And it's turned all brown like chocolate. Perhaps I'm getting a little too careless. But anyway, I was going to try it for at least maybe another 30 seconds or so. Alright, it's coming back out. And let's give it a little stir but what you also got to make sure is that it's not too um you also got to make sure that it sits for at least a minute you also got to make sure that you can't that it does not cool that it does you know yeah it needs to sit for at least a minute and you got to make sure it, you don't cook it for too long because it will dry up and get too firm like a brownie all right so i've given it a minute i'm gonna sample i'm gonna sample a bite so i'm gonna sample It's hot, but it's not thick, like a cookie. Well, no offense to Fit Waffle Kitchen, but your recipe does is a fail, is a failure. So, so sorry. So anyway, thought I'd show you my attempt at making a microwave mug brownie, and thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time.